place where you can find comfort of home and peace despite diversity. Where progress is achieved but traditions still remain. Where cultures coexist and artists meet. In this city hails the Barrett Man, a singer, songwriter, an artist, and an inspiring father. Lito is a skilled Warcraft artist who hails from the province of Abra. Just like any other migrants of Baguio, he spent most of his grown-up years trying different jobs just to make a living. Lito's determination to sustain the needs of his family fired up his passion to return to war arts to have a little income. Nutong kalagawi na kagiyaramid ako. Numanot yun na aramid ko nga naman di nga na Saturday tayong kami mo lang nagtrabaho ti Sunday. Malum iti Sunday. Ilatag ko iya sidewalk. Iya town. Idi iya damo nga nang ilatagak. Mas lang awan mang pansin nga eh. Malabas-labasan. Nung tingkas na kaya eh. Nung man awan tata, nung next sigurado ang kada. To work a full-time job and to continue to invest in his arts was never easy. A time would come that a little advice would change his sewer's life. Pauwi ako ng hapon, dala-dala ko yung bike ko. May nasalubong akong retired na paddy na nakita niya yung gawa ko sa Sagada. Sabi niya na saan ka galing, hindi sinabi ko na sa trabaho. Anong trabaho mo? Mananahi. Siyempre, sabi ko gano'n. Sabi niya, ba't ka pa maging empleyado? Isa ka naman, isa ka naman artist. Tapos, kung problema mo ang pukunan, may duli naman tayo. Remembering his friend's advice, Lito quits his job and decided to enter a business venture. Mga mga a few months siguro, and then, nag-decision na talaga ako na uh, magbukod na lang, mag-self-employ through Y Arts and magtahi, pero sarili ko na sa bahay. After a few months of being self-employed, Lito joined the Trabaho Negosyo Kabuhayan Fair in May of 2017. Right there and then, his creations captivated the eyes of Regional Director Ezekiel Ronnie Guzman. Ordi Guzman then referred Lito to the Baguio Benguet Field Office for an orientation of the Kabuhayan Program of our department. Kaya ang mga kiti Dolly, at least in-explain na ano kasi ano nga maala ito yung offer ng yung offer ng livelihood assistant. But amin nga na gijay na dinawat na kanya ka papers in submit ko at dalalak nga granted kat iso tinusara ko nga nagpuunan. So di niyaramit ko di jay at least jay 300 plus nga mabirbiru ka kiti da dumang ako da iya kumpanya nga nagapwa nag time is 3. The department provided 19,840 pesos worth of equipment materials and tools which he used for big orders, timely after the delivery of materials. Dealing with a lot of orders, Lito shared his passion to his close relatives, and eventually, he had extra hands to meet the demands of the market. Ati tulong na kayo ito yung wirecraft ni Lito Tako at ang iti trabaho niya ang 
pasang kita bawa pas construction worker ada ada semua apa penang suka kaya nama inayun itu income ada di suka kaya nama sarana itu panilia. To ensure the sustainability of his business, he continues on producing, selling, and displaying his work of art by visiting private souvenir shops, offices, and joining more trade fairs. First nga nag-display ako noon ang ibatiyak iti lako kwa ikot o kuok iti Trinidad. And then second, ito yung matsi o bagyo, book ends. Tatan, iti bumay bayagan nga ikot o Aduan dah kerja dah government office tu non government office na agul order para token. As he continues his success in the city of Baguio, words of his creations reach places out of this region. After our event, so we had our highest point in the Bayan. So after we posted it in Facebook and social media, we got some more friends. Namin. So particularly, many friends from Visayas and Mindanao, and they liked the design. Design, aside from uh, the style, they liked the nila yung concept. So there are many people who asked how to do it, how much to do it. We have a lot of activity. So usually, sa amin kasi we do give something special from our area. Dati-dati kasi binibigay namin mga wooden bags, mga wood carvings, yung mga job ones na dinisign ni, ni Sir Lito, binigay namin sa mga um, assistant secretary ng TI, sa aming undersecretary, and ang alam ko sa ibang regional directors din ng Department of Trade and Industry. Being humble as he is, Lito never forgets to give back to his community. He shared his talent hoping that others would also taste his success. Today, Lito is a trainer in several government livelihood activities. He once shared his skills to the persons deprived of freedom. Lito's journey is surely an inspiration. His story being an uphill battle earned him headlines to some local media outlets. Maraming maraming salamat sa programa ng Dol kasi kung wala din sila talaga, wala din akong pagtunan ng lakas para ipagpatuloy ko ng pagkatao ko bilang isang artist. Kasi kung kahit magaling ka kung walang tutulong sa iyo kasi ngayon, kung wala kang pira kahit artist ka, talaga wala kang magagawa. Hindi rin mabibili yung gawa mo kung walang mag-a-appreciate. So, yun ang isang uh, pinagpapasalamatan po sa buli. Lito inspires us that one can find success through our passion. This reminds us to continue on helping others so that others will do the same in return. The Dolcar compliments Lito for his outstanding accomplishment. The United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization recognized Baguio as the most creative city in Southeast Asia, in which Lito is one of the identified local craft artists. Ako si Lito Malagay, isang singer, isang composer, isang wire artist. Ako ang Barutman ng Cordillera.